Are we live? Oh shit, I gotta move my mic. <laughs> Are we live? Oh, that peaked. Oh, that's my bad. Sorry to your ears. Okay, let me... I've got my new hat on. It's a nice hat. It's quackity merch. It's very cool. I like it. And everyone in my Discord, please join my stream. I'm lonely. That was too much. That was too much for the stream. That's my bad, homies. Hi, guys. We don't have music going. I don't enjoy that. You're just listening to the same silence I am, which can't be good for anyone. Uh, just look what it did to me. I'm wearing a hat in Florida in March. Now look, he's first! Hello, Vin Cool. Nice to see you're here. Meow says bunny but not. Meow. Uh, bunny but not adds. Meow. Uh, bunny but not adds again. Oh, wow. There's a lot here. You're... It's my catty, I'd say. Uh, alright. I, I don't have to read out every single meow. Meow, uh, in continuum. Hello, bunny. Nice to see you. Bun bun. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm never using that nickname again. I need to put on music... That means I'm the best follower. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then sure. Whatever makes you happy. Parasocially. Alright, what? Music. Music. Balls. Okay, no. Did you appreciate the meows? Yes, I did appreciate the meows. You have expressed yourself in such an interesting and cool way, and I love that for you. We music. They can't stay, by the way, only for a few minutes. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just chatting. We're hanging out. Um, anytime you can come and talk is fine. Uh, what's the video at the top? LMAO. Oh, the, so at the top, there's just edits. Edits that people have done of me. Um, <laughs> uh, so that that's an edit of a video by Ludwig <laughs> about people being parasocial. Also, is that Quackity merch? <laughs> you fucking stand. I'm gonna put you on my DNI. Um, no. That's not Quackity merch. Let me- let me just- That's not Quackity merch. I've- I've never heard of Quackity. And, in fact, I never watched a single video of this person who you're- who you're talking about. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know that guy. Sup Cuffs. Hi, Natsu112307. Nice to talk to you. I can now no longer stand up because I don't- I don't think you can turn- you can turn this- this around. I don't think that's a thing you can turn around. Uh, I wanted to talk cuffs. I've been watching Quackity since 2015. I've been watching him since 2018. You need to do your own video about parasocial relationships. I think everyone and their mother has done a video about, uh, parasocial relationships at this point. I don't know if I have anything meaningful to add besides Create meaningful boundaries with people you don't know on the internet. Cuffs, I'm parasocially your friend. Okay. I haven't done one. You you should just make another? Like, make one? I don't know. I mean, I haven't made one. Maybe I should. God damn it, Fisty Cuffs mate on Twitch. On... Not in. I mean, uh, for you, I'm in Twitch right now. I'm in your TV screen. Not TV. And probably not on your TV. Phone. Computer. Various devices. I'm not on it. I, I don't know. I could talk about parasocial relationships and idolization for a bit. We already discussed it a few times. It's just, it's such an overdone conversation. I think we've all established that we don't, we don't think that um, it's healthy for people to create f 
false relationships in their heads with people who they've never met. I want to have a video of you telling me you're not my friend and I should get a life. Oh, so you can play it on repeat. That's good. That's actually good. I should do that. Phone screen. That's good. Tiny screens, you can see less of my pain and anguish. Uh, just gotta bring a new light to it in a way people will understand, you know? I will close every new YouTube video of, <laughs> of me saying that. I am not your friend. I am not your friend. Fuck, I'm late. Hi, I'm here. Hi! Welcome in. I am not wearing Quackity merch right now, and I definitely have a plan for what's going on today on stream. How do I make friends? Show up to their house, uninvited, after scouting them for several weeks. If they do not allow you entry, that means they're playing hard to get. Break down the door, or enter through a window. Don't wear identifying clothing. I don't know you, we are not friends. Yo, I see the bi flag. What's that other pride flag? I don't know. It's a little known thing. Um, you wouldn't have heard of it. Uh, called the Philippines. I'm very prideful about it, I would say. Uh, <laughs> definitely have good plans for today. Great plans. Uh, hello Z, I have been dozing and woke up. Wanting takeout. Get takeout. Get the takeout. Eat good food. Enjoy life. Be daring. What in the Yandere Chan was that, uh, friend making advice? I don't know. It worked for me. I'm gonna say that once every stream I join on, so <laughs> when you get big people, will think I'm a wrong in. You're gonna ask? You're gonna ask what kind of pride flag my Filipino flag is every time you join my stream? If I- so if I get big, I rejoined on accident and got an ad. Imagine not having Twitch Turbo. That's crazy. Ten dollars a month? Don't have to pay for like- like you don't have to get any ads. Pretty easy. Or you could sub. I don't, I don't expect you to sub. Twitch Turbo is more versatile. I'll cry. Bunny is suffering right now. If you don't want to suffer like Bunny, remember to check down in that little subscribe thing to see if you have a prime sub that you could be using right now. Because, you know, if you if you don't, then uh, you'll be like Bunny. Alt Nestle. Nice hat. Thank you. It definitely does not have... A fairly recognizable face on the back of it that I'm now hiding because someone immediately noticed that it, it may or may not be merch. Um, my prime's used on a wrong end. Sorry. How do I check for prime? You look down in the subscribe thing, and if a prime thing show up, then you prime. Not AMC! Fuck! I don't even have the right accent! That's it. I'd rather be a stan. I'd rather be a stan. I just wanted to wear my new merch, okay? I was proud of my new merch. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. We know the wrong- yeah. Prime doesn't work on mobile open browser. What Bunny said, I know things about Twitch. I bought Phil's new merch. I bought- I don't know if I bought his new merch. I have some of his other merch. I bought the one with the bi colors. Like the long sleeve shirt. It's a nice shirt. Quietie's merch is like really good. It's high quality. The beanie feels nice. The embroidery is good. Um, the sweatshirt I'm wearing. The hoodie. Very good hoodie. Very good. I have wave one. I missed wave two. I'm read Percy Jackson, see ya nerds, half joking, just joshing ya, and less. Enjoy Percy Jackson. I wanted Fundy merch because it looks so cool, but it's so expensive. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about life is a lot of cool things are expensive. Me, when I, you know, 
found out how much a Switch costs and still wanted a Switch. And now I have to save up for one. Have you seen it? I have seen it. I watched um, one of his vlog videos. Capitalism. Capitalism. Ew. Stinky. I hate capitalism. Gross. Stinky. Gross. I'm still in the stream, by the way. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad. It's so cool. Yes. I also got Technos, and that's it for clothing merch I got. I got Technos too. I got his um long sleeve shirt. I like the design for like the black long sleeve shirt. Ten out of ten. I make my own merch though because I'm poor. It's fair. I just draw fan art for myself, and then I can look at it whenever I feel like, you know, it's easier. Sam is so cool. Twinning. Twinning. Yeah. I'm just wearing the merch right now because I just got it. It's nice. I want guacamole gamer fart 9000. The gamer sups created by the Russian badger. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What? I wear my Filza hoodie a lot. To be honest, a lot of YouTube merch is just look at my name on a shirt, buy it. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, if you're gonna be making an article of clothing and expect me to buy it and wear it regularly, don't just make it, like, your name and then your Minecraft face. This doesn't count. This is classy. This is cool. Um... <laughs> Wear my Lovejoy jacket a bit ago. No merch with names, just kind of lame. Yeah, it's just lame. Make something cool related to your branding. Don't do random shit. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen your merch concepts. Gamer, uh... Gamer Sups is a energy drink, and the Russian Badger got to make his own flavor. Oh, I just thought that was a random string of words that you put together for fun in my chat. I didn't realize that it was real. Good for them. Love to see gamers getting that cash. Ah ha ha ha. YouTubers being successful. Jack Manifold merch had good designs. Yeah, I agree. Because it's a vibe. I want Gamer Fuel to sponsor me because I won't actually drink it. I just want money. That that's fair. I've never actually had gamer fuel um i don't i guess i would try it and then if it was bad i wouldn't let them sponsor me because <laughs> if it's bad i don't want to be like weird i don't want to be like the dumbass who's fucking who's peddling it out to my viewer base even though i don't even like it money's really cool yeah capitalism stuff like sucks but money really cool Really like money. Really like money. Sell out soul. Will do. Real soon. Gotta post videos first on YouTube before you sell your soul. So. Saw it when I was in the game aisle at Walmart. I would. <laughs> no, it's an actual thing. He called it Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. <laughs> I would outright say, hey, yo, this tastes like ass, but it has my face on it. I would make them make, like, some sort of cotton candy flavored drink. If it tastes like cotton candy, I'd peddle it. I wouldn't care. Because then I'd actually drink it. It'd be horrible pr for me, probably. Like, god-awful. But I'd do it if it tastes like cotton candy. For sure. My face is very marketable. Oh, that's relatable. What do you think of the, uh, sneak peek I po posted? Wait a minute. Alt Nestle. Honestly. Oh, that was loud. No, I peeked. Honestly, I didn't know that was you. I thought you were a random person. Hi, buddy. Let me look at your account. Let me see. I saw it earlier. It looks really cool. I like it. Here. I'll show I'll show stream. Is there anything weird on screen? No, there's not. It's fine. Boop. 
Guys, I'm gonna be for real. I have no plans today. I got none. I- I just- I said I'd go live. Oh, this is wrong. <laughs> That's not where that is. Alright. Here's honestly sneak peek. Very cool, make more. I would make a- hey, what's up? The ceiling right now, Calcu22. Just the ceiling. It's a, it's a pretty interesting ceiling, I'd say. A lot of, a lot of grooves. A lot of grooves. I would make a flavor called Blue Bitch, and the flavor would be something out of, so out of left field. It's blue, but it tastes like Pepto Bismol. Why would you do that? I'm, I was planning on streaming Minecraft, uh, if you want to join too. Double stream. Bazinga. I could. That is a decision I could make. Well, that's me. Yeah, it was you. Well, whenever I think of blue drinks slash food, I think of Percy Jackson. Yeah, he, that was kind of his thing, wasn't it? My ceiling's down. Joke's on you. Why is your ceiling down? Describe that to me. I would because I can. Oh, that's... That's a horrible. Alright. I respect that. Okay. So. We need to do things. Let me look at my games list. Guys. Guys. I'm not cut out for being a streamer. I have no... <sighs> Percy Jackson audiobook was good. I'm glad it was good. Because I'm upside down. Why are you upside down? Now, why are you like that? Okay, um, I just got a new game. We could play that. Lords and Villains. Basically, it is a sit uh, village builder. We could do that. It's very slow-paced, though. What are you guys feeling today? Are you feeling chill, slow-paced, or, like, hype? Because I'll go wherever. I, I don't know how hype I could get, though. Not many of my games are hype. I've got... So many options. I'm pulling an Australian. Oh. Oh, Natsu112307. I hear Australians don't like that joke. I would still make it, though. It's funny. Okay. Guys, I'm, lo I'm looking at the games list. I don't know. Here, let me enter studio mode. So I can actually... Okay, let's see. Uh... Let me turn off video capture device. No, not that. Need that. <laughs> Display capture. Got it. Alright. Boop. Okay. We are gonna play a game. We're gonna play such a cool game. A cool game that I'm gonna turn into a YouTube video. Probably, maybe. No, I won't. No, I will not. I heard Mr. D and my Gen Z mind instantly went to D's nuts. He would smite you. It'd be funny. Okay. For for YouTube purposes, I have to hide the fact that this is quackity merch, because I don't want people to think that I'm that I'm lame. Like I really am. I want them to think I'm cool. Guys on- people on YouTube have to think I'm cool so that they'll get here, and then they're already enticed, and then they stay. You guys are already too far. You're like- you're too far in. You- you don't care. Um, but them? Oof. Oof. Gotta convince them. I don't know whose merch your hat is from. You are in the minority. CalQ22. He'd be too depressed to do anything. Oh. Oh. You're gonna call out Mr. D like that? That's fucked up. That's fucked up of you. Alright, um... <laughs> so, we... Is there even... We can chill out and we can play the new game that I just got. Alright. Tuesday, chillin'. 
because we're chilling. I'm in pain. All right. Opening the game. This is a cool game. So I got it on sale. It was like $15. Um, and it's got a really cute design. And what struck me about it is I could be buying it. You'd think, you know, that's that's a weird thing to care about. You know? Um, but surprisingly, a lot of games like this that are uh, town and city builders and whatever um, don't have the built-in options for you to just kind of like be by or have your characters be by. And in this, you can even just like adopt new heirs for your family. You don't, like if you have a same-sex pairing between your villagers, they'll just like request an adoption and they'll adopt children. They don't even have to have babies. It's great. I love it. All right. Games, properties, not city skylines. This, there we go. I'm using a Yu-Gi-Oh card as a bookmark. Get on my level cuffs. I used to play the Yu-Gi-Oh game on the DS. It's pretty cool. Or was it Bakugan? I always get those two confused. They're like the same thing, but slightly different. Anyways, I need to put this on. And I probably need to take this off. Because I- it gets bad when I wear my headphones over my- Over the beanie. It's too hot. It's not good for me. Alright, so. This is not nearly loud enough. You can't hear anything going on. Okay. I have the actual cards. Are you a nerd? Is there a nerd in my fucking chat? I shouldn't be surprised. I really shouldn't. Okay, so we're gonna start a new game. And, uh, I have no clue what's going on in this game, I'll be honest. Gotta go cuffs, man's gotta do their own stick. Um, if you're still live when I'm done, I'll pop in. Thumbs up! Z heads up, I'm a lurk, and I won't be able to see such here stream for a while, so just DM me if you need any help. Thumbs up! Damn, everybody leaving. Ain't nobody here. <laughs> nobody is here for Lords and Villains. Nobody. Very much so, yes. Yeah. I shouldn't be surprised since one of my core community members is just a band kid. That I'm attracting nerds into my chat. Should not be surprised. Um. Okay. What should we do? We do the tutorial. I don't feel like doing the tutorial. I would rather we all be confused and sad. Something interesting about this game? Um. Can't just cheat. Which really disrupts my enjoyment, because then I actually have to play the game properly to have fun, instead of just cheating my way to victory. It's horrible. Really sad. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I played this game more than a little, and I still haven't figured out how to make them use half the stuff that's available to them. So, it's not like villains, it's like villagers, like villers, villains, villains, you know, like lords and villagers, but they, it's weird. I, I don't question it. What are we naming them? What are we thinking? Could be Bob. Bob's always a cool name. Cool and hip. So this is basically our ruler. Um, we can select a lot of like small things about them. Um, basically, they're gonna be the ruler in charge of the whole village, and you're gonna start out with three families, okay? Three whole families. And they're gonna have three different specializations. Cuffs, are you a quirked up white boy? Am I a quirked up white boy? Natsu one one two three oh seven. 
Am I a quirked up white boy? Am I? Anyways, um, David and Pooh. Sure. Lord David Pooh. We could just- we could change so many things. I think David Pooh should be missing an eye. Okay, today's episode of Natsu disappoints everyone. <laughs> oh my god. This is David Pooh. We're just- we're just going through the clothes. There's so many options. I shouldn't have a cape. I wanna- I wanna signal how they just have no eye. Just none. David Pooh has three- three children and a random partner. Cool. But yeah, I got this game on sale. It was like $15, usually it's $20. Um, and I was like, you know what? I wanna try it out. Looks interesting. Interesting art style, interesting concept. The reviews were like, yeah, this is cool. Lord David Pooh, I have bestowed upon you the right to rule over this land. I expect you to take great care in exploiting this land and the richness it has to offer. Should you not succeed, I shall find someone else to take your place. And your head as well. Not everyone gets the same opportunity as you do, so keep that in mind. By confirming, you shall certify your oath of fealty. Best of luck on your journey. Sure, dude. I'm alright with that. Alright, so, so, what, what we do here, from, from what I have seen, um, <laughs> I ask my favorite streamer if they're a quirked up white boy. He uses any pronouns. <laughs> I, I don't have a problem with you asking if I'm a quirked up white boy, but my, my question is, do, do I look like a quirked up white boy? Who- who may or may not be goaded with the sauce? Let's see. Hypothetically. That I'm a quirked up white boy. I- I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I should go offline. I should go offline. This is my last straw. This is my thirteenth reason. Okay. <laughs> so what we gotta do now? Would you be coated With the sauce? On today's episode of Fisty Cuffs Mate, going live and re rediscovering what their community is like after a week. This is my fault. I shouldn't have left you all alone. Or maybe you were always like this. Damn autocorrect. It's too late now. It's too late now. So, the way this works is it's really similar similar to RimWorld, but if you haven't played RimWorld, that's going to be really confusing to you. You have no context. What was autocorrected? I assume coated, but it's too late. You just asked me, would you be coated with the sauce? And that's that's here forever. That's going to be in the VOD, and then I'm going to post the VOD on YouTube, and you'll be able to find it at any time. So first, we're gonna establish we've got we've got three families of <laughs> three families of villagers. All right, we've got farmers, basically woodcutters foraging, um, and fishermen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them a house. But first, we have to consider where that house should be placed based on their profession. Really cool, really crazy stuff. You know, nothing you would expect. Um, and if I was a quirked up white boy, and if I was a quirked up white boy, then theoretically, that would mean I am busting it down. Sexual style. Flambard. Okay. 
Um, so presumably we'd want our fishermen to be closer to the water because then they can fish. And then this is so deadly silent. I hate this. I hate it here. I hate it here. Why is it not playing? Is it because I'm paused? All right. So they need to live somewhere near here. It's not loud enough. All right. They need to live somewhere right here, and the people who cut down wood need to live somewhere around here, and the people who farm presumably can just live anywhere around here, depending on how fertile the soil is. I can click this button and just see. Put the fishermen as far away from the water as possible. Now, why would I do that? Natsu. With several numbers in a strange succession. Why would I put... My poor, poor villagers, horribly far away from where they have to work. That would just be rude. That would be so terribly rude if I just put them far, far away from where they would need to work. That would be terrible. And I'd never do that. Never, ever. It's pretty based, let's be honest. Oh. Can you build the fisherman house on the river? We can build it near it. Is that a desert in the bottom right? I don't actually know. I have no clue. Maybe. It might be for, like, glass working, because I know that's a thing that happens. So I'm going to assume yes. <gasps> Wolves. Alright, so things like this will still pop up. Oh, you can't see it. So, tooltips. Is that how you would refer to it? Um, advice is popping up right under my head on the screen. So, I can secretly click it, and you'll sort of hear a sound, and I'll be like... How the fuck does a household work again? Which is what this is. This is a household. I just assigned this household comedically very, very far away from the water. And then I clicked on it. And I clicked assign family. And I was able to go through the drop down and just select the fisherman. It's pretty cool. Anyways. So... I'm only going to inconvenience the fishermen because there's only two of them and it's funny to make their family struggle. Um, but I am going to put woodcutters like right here. And then people who farm like right here because I'm probably going to have them farm around this area because if you check this, this shows soil quality. Which is important, because if your soil's bad, things don't grow. I've lost a viewer. Oh god, I should have I should have played something funny, like Minecraft. Alright, it's fine. Okay, so, we, right here, I don't care, the game is fun. So, this, super green. Super green? You want to know why it's super green? Because it's super fertile. That sounds weird without context. I'm unfocused. Um, focus? Okay. Reason why it's super fertile? Right by a river. Crazy. Hello, I can hear stream again. What's up? We're just talking about this game that I bought. Pretty cool game, not gonna lie. Why'd you lose a viewer? Because I'm playing a boring game, objectively. Which is okay, because I'm enjoying the game. I shouldn't mention when I notice things like that, because then it brings down the mood of the stream. I'll be better about that. Um, this is super fertile. We're going to set up a zone right here, or at least the house is there. So now we set up zones, like farmland. We're going to be like, Ayo, they're going to farm in this whole area, because that's cool. Cool people do that. Me taking notes, super green, super fertile. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Glad you guys are noticing. This is really important. It's going to be on the test. All right, so this... I just use this, this zone, to highlight all this area. This is going to be farmland. 
I can just select this and be like, okay, build farmland in this whole area. And then they'll do that because they're my little minions and they do whatever I want. Um, that sounded worse than I thought it would. Uh, <laughs> now I can do this and I can use fishing pool zone for the fishermen and they'll walk over here and they'll build fishing rods. Fishing rods have to face the water, which makes sense if you really think about it. They only need two because there's two of them in the family, which you can see if you check here. Whoa, two people. Happily married. Cool. I hate how it's so silent. I should add lo-fi. Alright, let me add lo-fi. I was not expecting the music to just, like, stop. <laughs> quick, quick. I must, I must... Lo Ooh, YouTube. Ludwig stream music. Am I stealing? Yes. No. This is not chill enough. <laughs> Copyright free lo-fi. I hate lo-fi. I hate lo-fi. I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate it here. There's no music? There is music. It's just, it only plays when you're the game is going, and I'm pausing when I'm setting up all of this stuff because it just makes sense to not waste time. I could just put myself under, like, the conditional that I cannot pause for epic stakes. Super epic. I'm sure you're invigorated right now just watching this. So, we have zoned these houses. This house needs to be bigger because if you look here, one, two, three, four, five people in the farmer family. Crazy. Bonkers. Bananas. So, let's just do this. We're gonna edit zone. We're gonna make the zone a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. And then, we're gonna set up walls. I'm positively on the edge of my seat with this riveting content. Yeah, I'm just, you know, keeping you guys... On your toes, can't always have e easy stuff. Uh, <laughs> easy, easy content to make your brain go burr. So right now, I just placed down walls and a door. This was a horrible idea. I'm rethinking all of my life choices as I stare into my eyes on OBS Studios. Now I'm staring into your eyes. How does that make you feel? Oh, that made my eyes dry. Okay. Should we just play Minecraft? I thought this would be more interesting. Streamers made a mistake. I can admit to my mistakes. <laughs> I... <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm enjoying this? Okay. I'm, I'm reassured by the fact that you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> If you're not enjoying it, tell me. Because I get nervous. <laughs> God, I should just commit. I should just commit. Why am I streaming if I'm going to get self-conscious? This is not the job for you if you're going to get self-conscious all the time. Let me tell you. Alright. So I just placed down some beds. Because there are... One, two, three, four, five people in this family. But I'm actually listening while I do some more world building. Oh yeah, I forgot people just kind of listen in the background. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> so, these people. Two couples, one kid. So I put down two double beds and one normal bed. Yeah, what are you world building for? What kind of cool world building are you doing? I saw on the server that you were thinking about Dragon Age and Thetis. That's the same thing. Dragon Age and... uh. Elder Scrolls. So I'm interested in what kind of thing you're doing. So I now I'm gonna add a cooking table so that they can eat food because that's important apparently. Um, a cauldron need that to make food 
And then, this is gonna look weird, but they need a well in their house. For cooking. Does it make sense? No. I'm gonna make this house a little bit smaller. Now that I'm actually able to look. Alright, this is the amount of space it's gonna take up. I can just do this and save materials. Yeah, I'm trying to force Dragon Age and Elder Scrolls on the same planet. I always find that to be an interesting concept because Dragon Age and Elder Scrolls are such different. They're very similar at face value, but as, like, real places, they're very different. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So, as real places, dragons in Dragon Age and dragons in Tamriel are way different. Like, super way different. Very not the same. Was that? I was supposed to rotate that, I think. <laughs> um, dragons in Elder Scrolls are very ancient and highly intelligent beings and dragons in dragon age are very angry fire spitting or electricity spitting um things that cannot speak and pointedly cannot do magic um what's up my fellow hopian hopian homo sapiens what is up hello we are playing a game i think i don't know it's not Minecraft for once. It's a game about building a village. Og? This is just a chill tack talking stream like all the others. I'm thinking of having the dragons in ES be like the elder elves uh, to the dragon in Dragon Age. Mmm. So you're thinking like, with the fall of the veil, they lose what they were before? That'd be interesting, but I would be interested in seeing how, like, that only affects the part of the planet with Tam- with, uh, Thetis in it. Intriguing. Intriguing. So, I need beds. I need one. Two. And then two more. But they're singles. No, I need that. Because I'm making a house for, count it with me, six people. I'm not actually making you count. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. What do you think this is, Dora? Um, <laughs> now we have the horribly inconvenienced people all the way here, away from their job. <laughs> We're just going to pop them. Oh my god. Like this. We're gonna have a double bed. And then... I'm thinking of having the drag- yeah. Sorry, I was rereading to make sure I had it. No matter what, uh, it will have to be an AU to make it work, but I'm having fun trying to figure out what I can get away with not changing. Yeah, that's cool. It's always fun to, like, exercise how much you can change in a fic. Like, and have it still seem reasonable. You know? I think that's cool. I think it's a cool concept. I don't usually get into them because I don't feel- it. To me, it doesn't feel very realistic, but I also respect the fact that you want to, add, like, try. And that's cool. Murder. <laughs> why are you- why are you using the murder emote? <laughs> what about this is murderous? Is it me inconveniencing them? Poor guys. <laughs> Alright. So. I have set up the uh, blueprints. Uh, also, by the way, I was 100% joking about the fishermen. It's too late now. They live all the way over here. You ruined their lives, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, so, I've set down the blueprints, but wow, they're not building anything. Except for over there, because that doesn't require any materials. So, I've got in here... This fancy dancy warehouse book. At least the fishermen are in the desert. Yeah, that would be too that would be too crazy. I would never do that. <laughs> um so in here we can grant items 
to our uh, little villagers. Like, directly give it to them. Like, food. Food is important. I'm going to give them food right now. I'm going to just grant it to them. Because they won't be making food for a little while. Alright. So, I'm just going to grant food to them. I can use this to seize items from them. So, if they had items worth taking, I could literally just take them. Uh... I can sell things to my villagers from my main stores. Basically stuff that I get from taxes and whatever and seizing them illegally and buying them as well. Um, and I, I can also buy from them, but you need storefronts for that. Which I don't have yet. We'll get there. Um, but first, before I start doing that, I need to set down a storefront for this. Our uh, warehouse. That's where all, all of our stuff is, as the ruler. Um, and when we set down a storefront here, the other little villagers will come over and they'll just buy stuff from the stores that I set up to sell. It's a wrong button. I clicked the very wrong button. So, I can just hand out some wood by selecting free instead of making them buy it, which is, like, this much money per one. Um, or per all of them, I can't tell. Uh, I can hand out straw, which they need for their houses. Um, I'm going to just give yarn to this family, because they need it for fishing rod. Cool. Alright. So by doing that, I've made sure that they have the items to make their houses with. Also, I need to do this. They need to have stone for the wells that I put down, if you didn't see them. Maybe planks? I think about a hundred planks. Alright. I think that's good. Um, and we have one more thing. I need to make my own house as the ruler family. Because I'm cool and hip. And my house gets to be cooler than theirs. I know. Crazy. So I can just make a little abode. Like this. Alright. And then... Put them in the desert. <laughs> I just saw that. Alright, put a door there. I should probably zone it first as my house instead of, you know, your personal household. Make it big and expensive because I'm a noble. Nobles get expensive houses. I'm going to give myself a reasonably sized house because I don't have the materials to just be going willy-nilly and making big-ass mansions. Not yet, at least. Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna get myself an expensive bed. Let's go! Whoa! I love expensive beds. Whoa, me too. And I have three kids, so need this many beds. And then I need to put down. Let's do tiled roof. Can't build there. Oh right, I need to build the actual stuff first, like the walls before you can put down a roof. Um, and then, let me remember, what was I doing? Oh right, the stuff to eat food. Food is important, that's in production. I need a well. I need a cauldron. And I also need a cooking table. Cool. Then I think that's all. I think that's all they need. Probably. <gasps> For sure, never playing this game on stream again. Literally, because I just had to explain that much stuff. This is a solo game, like RimWorld. 
Some games, you just kind of play, like, at least once or twice, and then you're like, this isn't a game for stream. That was CK3. I played CK3 very often when I first started out. It was not a good idea. That was not where it was at. Um, you're just kind of sitting there while things happen. Like, you wait for things to happen. And then, sometimes things happen. And they're, like, big, huge things. I would just cheat on stream to make um, everything interesting. But yeah, now we can watch them build their houses. As they just get the materials. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna keep talking to myself since everyone's listening to me in the background. Hi everyone who's doing work or reading or studying or... Reading? Probably reading. You're probably reading. Um. No, look, there's the music. So. I, to talk about something interesting, at least to me, I have been working on a new fanfic for Dragon Age. Um, with a few friends, a collab thing. Um, basically, me and my friends get stuck in Dragon Age 2, and then one of them immediately dies. It's sad. Um, and after they die, we end up wandering to the nearest, uh, city, which so happens to be the main city where all of the stuff takes place in the game, Dragon Age and when that happens, we just kind of have to deal with it. Like in all self-inserts. Yeah, the one where I have one chapter and <laughs> that one in. Oh shit, I just spoiled. Nobody, nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. Nobody tell anybody that I said that. Nobody tell anybody that I just said that. If the others find out I fucking spoiled it, they'll kill me. I'll die. It'll be a horrible death. Licky, if you clip that, I will never forgive you. Ever. Nobody dies. Ever. In the fic. Mary Sue fic. Um, everyone's perfect and pretty, and everyone loves them, and no one dies. It's crazy. Mad crazy. Dude, are they just not building? Oh, they are. Okay. I'm fine with spoilers. Yeah, but... It's the fact of the ma- The fact of the matter. <laughs> the... What's the word? Laz will come through on the screen- <laughs> Come through the screen and strangle you live on stream. Either her or Ori. I don't want that to happen to me. I want to live. This is a really good fake I'm starting, alright? We all think that we're just gonna do weekly uploads. Because we're finishing it so fast. I understand now why people do weekly updates to fix. Well, no. Collabs. Collabs to fix? It's so much easier to write. Hi, Zach, with no T or numbers. I'm talking about fan fiction, Which I vehemently said in our Discord server wasn't a part of my branding. I like the first chapter, even though I had no idea who was who. It's fair. <laughs> it's fair. I have that issue, too, with um, OCs. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. So, Zach. Everyone say hi to Zach. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I understand why a ton of authors do collabs now. Because you get through work so fast. Like, you get through words so quickly. I am working with three other people. Um... Two of them taking more of a role than the other, usually. So, like, three people at most will be working at a time rather than all four of us. But all of us just going through the work that we're doing and, like, editing it and uh, make changing the grammar, making sure it sounds correct, better than any English teacher. Okay? Like, and plus, no one gets, as, gets burnt out as fast because they're... Because everyone is doing less work than if they were the only ones 
doing a 5k a chapter fic. My favorite fan fiction um, is definitely part of your branding. Uh, I'm still gonna make you read one on stream. Oh no, collabs are great, but y'all can just like hype each other up. I've done a round robin fic before and that was lots of fun. Why round robin? A squad of mutual cheerleaders, yeah. <laughs> Look at them, slowly making their house and stuff. Why are you not doing anything? You okay? Bestie? Friend? Wandering around. Why are you just wandering around? Don't you want like a bed and stuff? Can you not access stuff? Do you need do you need me to <laughs> give you stuff? I just saw a trailer for a movie during an ad break and once for once I want to watch a new movie. Is it Batman? How many points see? How many points for the fanfic? It has to be a fanfic that you have written about me and then I will read it on stream. Uh we still never did finish that round robin fic. What is this game? Uh, it was such a funny premise. This is Lords and Villains. I think it pops up when you... No, it doesn't. Um, Lords and Villains, which is really just Lords and Villagers. It's a, it's a village building game. It's like RimWorld. No, but I respect the new Batman for making him so unapologetically emo. Cuffs, you're evil. Those are my conditions. You bring that to me, I'll read that on stream. Yeah, you did use the incorrect, uh, your. I'm glad you corrected it, though. Good for you. <laughs> um. But yes, I'm concerned about them. Why are they not? Why, why, why are you, why are you gay? Okay, there's enough out there. They're just not working. Bro? Y'all just hanging out? Oh, I didn't assign them their- Okay, I'm realizing something. Something important in this game is you have to assign a family to the area that they're going to be working in. And I just didn't assign them. That was on me. Um, that- That was on me. And I have to also zone out. I was distracted by the fact that I had an audience. Um, I have to zone this out. For the lumberjacks. Cool. Now they'll, like, do work and stuff. Except for these. Why are you just... Okay, I won't question it. No, I will not question it. Fine, I'll make one, but only if you give me a premise. I have a half-written one, but the SMP's dead. R.I.P. <laughs> Watch them all scurry like ants. They do scurry like ants. They're just in their little hive. They're going around. <laughs> um, yeah. R.I.P. The Ranch SMP. <laughs> Literally joined it. It started. It ended. Not even a month later. Not even. Just F. F in chat to pay respect. I got, like, a lot of new viewers from that SMP. I need to find a new one, bro. I'm... It's either I get a new SMP, or I start making YouTube videos, and I'm so fucking lazy. I only like doing easy things, and easy things are art and writing. Do you know how long I have to focus to make a YouTube video? Bro? I can't do that! I have ADHD! <laughs> If I was just smart, if I was just smart, and I made my streams and formulated them in a way to where I could cut them down into chunks and then only edit those very small chunks into content, I'd be set. I'd be golden. I am not like that, though. If I could just be, like, good at FPS games or just play FPS games and have funny friends, I'd be so set. I just cut down a couple games... Post it. That's all the work I gotta do. 
speaking of FPS games, the last time I watched an FPS video by another small creator, because I was curious, I was in a small creator Discord, they're all focused on improving themselves. I like opening up their Discord accounts randomly and opening up their YouTube to see what they put down, because a lot of them, they talk a lot of big talk and they complain, but they have no videos posted or no recent videos or they're infrequent in their update schedule. Most of them have only like one or three videos on their channels and they're complaining about the fact that they're not growing fast enough. Regardless, this dude, I pull up his new COD video, posted it like three days ago. I'm like, that's cool. In the description, he says, no hate, please. I go, hmm. I wonder why you said that. That's weird. Is there a story behind that? I watch the 10 minute COD video of highlights. You know what I hear? COD of all vids? I know! You know what I hear? One of his teammates uses the hard R N word. It doesn't even say anything. Completely unbothered. My guy just keeps playing, and I'm like, huh? What's going on? My dude puts in his description, no hate, please. Because he left in one of his teammates, clearly white, using the hard R N-word into his COD highlights video. What are you- the, the gaming was not epic enough for you to leave that in. You could have just cut it out. Okay? I get it. It's socially awkward to be like, hey, don't be racist and a bigot. Please. I know that's hard for some people. Don't put it in your COD compilation. Bestie. Nasty. Do not understand FPS creators and their rancid community does not make sense to me all the hate all of the hate all of the hatred in my heart to you for not even having the decency to just like not put that into the highlights gaming was not that high okay you were running around when it happened it was not cool enough you could have muted it and then put dubstep over it that's what most people do it didn't it was not that hard it wasn't just mind blown. I don't get it. I don't understand. Small creators? Make no sense to me. As a small creator. Very confused. Hi, Dizantine. Happy day indeed. Happy, great, and cool day. Alright. So. What was I even doing? I paused. Ugh. I need What do I need? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing in this game. I got it like two days ago. Yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. Yesterday I didn't sleep the entire night. The night before. And I went to bed at three in the afternoon. I gotta go have dinner, have fun with the game. Will do. Um, <laughs> went to bed at three in the afternoon. I was supposed to work. I was supposed to work yesterday. I had to go into work at three. You know what I had to do? I talked to my manager and I said, hi, I'm sorry. This is really unprofessional to cancel work. Right before my shift. Mondays are usually late. Um, I... have ADHD-induced uh, insomnia, and I'm gonna have to sit this one out, boss. Because I'm sleep-deprived, and I don't want to drive when I haven't slept in 24 hours. And my manager was like, okay, have a good rest. And I went thumbs up, and I immediately slept. I was gone. This game seems kind of gay. I had five donuts for dinner. 
I wish I had five donuts for dinner. I had garlic bread for dinner. I should have eaten more food. I forgot to assign this. Oopsies. Oopsies. My bad. <laughs> That's why they weren't living in their house. That's so funny. Honestly, I love that manager. Garlic bread is good, though. Good rest. Good rest, indeed. Oh, by the way, that was all leading into me saying... So I went to bed at 2... 3 p.m. yesterday. So I woke up at 2 a.m. today. It is now... 10 o'clock. You know what I'm gonna be doing? I'm gonna be going to bed early. For me. I'm gonna be going to bed at 12 o'clock at night. Probably. Presumably. I hope so. I can't keep living like this. I need to be medicated. I need to start taking melatonin. We love a healthy sleep schedule. God, am I envious of it. Just so envious. Whoa, one of my villagers is pregnant. You guys can't see, because, you know, it's hidden. Oh, you can! It's under your chat. So that's helpful, I suppose. Man, I kind of just want to play Minecraft. No, no, I'll stay strong. I will not be a weak-willed person. I'm playing a video game, and I'm gonna keep playing it. Probably. This is kind of just an idle game, isn't it? Oh, it is. I'm realizing it now. One of the reviews was like, I just kind of do work, and I leave this game on in the background. Play Minecraft, do it. I'm playing Minecraft. I was testing this out as a stream game. You just saw my save names. Uh, stream. I want to play Minecraft. I was testing this out as a stream game. Not going to be a stream game. Not going to lie. Definitely not feeling it. You know what we can do, though? We can play Minecraft music. Minecraft music. Minecraft full soundtrack. Ooh, we can do Minecraft relaxing music box. 10 hours. Rain plus visuals. Yo. This is good. <laughs> this is too relaxing. I will fall asleep. No, 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 no. Okay. Like our full soundtrack. Okay. I just love the Minecraft soundtrack. It's so nostalgic. It makes me think about when I was a little kid. Conway's game of life in the background. <laughs> Alright, let me change from this to Minecraft. Yup, Rooney. There we go. I want to do some parkour. I love some parkour. Alright, I'm opening up the game. Ugh. How are we all doing today? Are we vibing? Are we Jay chilling? I don't even know what that means. I heard one of my friends say it, and now I'm just saying it. I am a sheep. I admit it. What's the premise, C? What's the premise for the fanfic? How when you Google Conway's Game of Life, it plays Conway's Game of Life. Um, the premise for the fic is god damn it i'm not even in an smp anymore so i can't even give you like a good thing this is so loud in my ears holy shit oh that's why it's loud in my ears i had my headphones weirdly up okay that's why all right oh uh, the premise is let me open up minecraft hmm 
I don't know. I have to come up with, like, random lore. Uh... Hmm. If I had to pick something... Pay no attention to that time. Uh... Yeah, I've got nothing. If I were in an SMP, it would be easier. Or if I was still actively doing that hardcore world. Which I think was before your time. I think you didn't join the community when I was still doing the hardcore world. Man, I was committed to that hardcore world, though. I was like, it's fine. I'm gonna make YouTube videos about it. It's gonna be super easy. And then I found out that it's really annoying to make Minecraft playthrough out of stream content. And then I was like, it's fine. I can just make Minecraft playthrough um, out of non-stream content. No, that's wrong. Um, out of non-stream content, I can sit down and record it. Uh, was not a good idea. Because I am literally allergic to just playing a game without any background sound. When I'm not streaming, <laughs> I am listening to podcasts, to YouTube videos, video essays. L literally the most random shit. Because I cannot be left with my own brain. I cannot focus. The Hardcore World and React and Andy were before my time. Yeah. Dude, I streamed 15 hours once. After having stayed up for 35 hours. Oh, fuck. I streamed 15 hours on New Year's Eve. Because uh, I wanted to, like, just stay awake until the New Year. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Came up with it after I had already been awake the entire night. Sleep deprived. I was like, you know what? I can just go live right now in the morning. I don't go live in the morning. That's not where my viewership is. I'm going live at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm like, hi guys. Haha. <laughs> quick stream. It was not a quick stream. Somebody jokingly said, what if you just stayed awake and streamed until it is New Year's. It's 2022. And I was like, haha, that's funny. I'm gonna do that like an idiot. I am so dumb. This, that was... Oh. I was just doing React Andy and playing Minecraft. And I even played some, like, <laughs> some Witcher 3. Just trying to bide my time until I could leave. I wasn't even being paid. It's not even like it was a subathon thing. I was just like, haha, that would be funny. It was not funny. It was funny for, like, the first bit. But by the time I was hitting, like, hour 13, I was checked out. I was dead. I wanted to go to bed. Literally begging the clock to hit 12 o'clock. The worst. <laughs> worst fucking idea. Even worse thing, I woke up 12 hours later, next day. I want to go live again. I was like, I understand how Hasana B feels. I understand why he goes live for 8 hours. Like, every single day. I get it. I literally hate myself. This is this is terrible. No, I love myself. I hate how I'm performing in this parkour map. Okay, there. We've combated a poor self-talk. Um, My guy goes live eight hours a day. Goes to bed. Goes, works out. Comes back. The next day. You want to talk about parasocial relationships? That man's got a parasocial relationship to his viewership. Okay? Scrolling through the damn chat. Looking for every gray name. Who so happens. To say something stupid. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny though. So it's fine. It's how he lives his life. So, 24-hour stream this New Year's Eve and do a subathon event? God, I think you need to have, like, a larger viewer base to successfully perform a subathon. I will not lie to you. I have, like, 200 followers. I have, like, an average 
of way less viewers, okay? My average is like at 8 right now in my statistics. 8 viewers? How the hell are my 8 loyal viewers gonna come up with that kind of money to keep me live for as long as possible? I would have to do a warning. I'd have to be like, hey guys, I'm planning on doing a subathon for so-and-so reason in a month. Just letting you know. Just in case. Holy shit. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm balls. I'm balls. I'm balls. I'm ass. You have nine months, see? Nine months? All right. I'll just get more viewers. My bad. I'm a forehead. If I just post YouTube videos, I keep saying that. I'm like a broken record. I'm like, <laughs> guys, if I just posted YouTube videos, everything would be fine. And then I don't post YouTube videos. That's so strange of me. It's like, all this negative self-talk is not going to fix the fact that you're not making YouTube videos. Cuffs. WD Dom has arrived? Holy shit. That's crazy. We're just doing Minecraft parkour, listening to Minecraft music. Talking. We're chilling out. Oh, arrive. That makes sense. <laughs> you confused? <laughs> but yeah. I think the thing is with me always talking about, well, if I wanted to be successful, I would make YouTube videos. Is that I'm trying to convince myself to finally, like, commit to making YouTube videos, but I have absolutely no direction with my content, so it makes no sense, like, how, how are you just going to make YouTube videos if you have no fucking clue what you want to make YouTube videos about? What am I going to do? Make a YouTube video about fanfiction analytics? Is this who we are? I'm trying to be a gamer. You know what gamers don't do? Make videos about fanfiction analytics. Shaking my fucking head. <sighs> do it? What do you mean by do it? TikTok video essay. <laughs> this really is, though. So many people use this map for TikToks. You wanna know why? It's the fucking first easy map on this server. That's why. Hilarious. Absolutely bonkers. I kind of want to make a video. I've been turning it over in my head for, like, months. About making a video about, uh why small streamers will never be popular content creators and the, the title is literally you will never be a popular content creator <laughs> and i've been rolling it around in my head just like making something that's video essay-esque because i've been thinking about this i've been thinking about this very deeply um because there's so many people who just, like, decide to start streaming, and then they have an expectation of, Oh, well, I could be successful. What do you mean you could be successful? You, you should know how to be successful at this point. Do you know how many larger creators and people more experienced than you have already spoken about how you can be successful? What do you mean by what if? You should be taking steps, if you are committed to this, towards doing this. And a lot of people just, like, aren't that committed. And I am included. I'm not that committed. I have other hobbies that I prefer to spend more time on. I have a job that I also spend time on. It's a part-time job, though, so it's weird, weird excuse. But a lot of these people just, like, don't have commitment to it. And that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. You don't have to be, like, super committed to every single thing that you ever do. Like, streaming doesn't have to be your career. In fact, it probably shouldn't be, because it's a really unstable career. And there aren't the same um, safety nets that are applicable in other careers. Like, you get fired from McDonald's, you have the correct experience to go work at a different fast food restaurant, you know? Like, it'll suck, but it's whatever. You get fired- <laughs> you get fired as a streamer? The ego blow, bro. Like, 
you start getting successful and then you lose it? And you lose it? Soul crushing. I mean, you might have experiences that are now applicable to other jobs like video editing if you spent time on that. If you're a streamer, you probably didn't. Uh, <laughs> probably just went live, got very lucky, depending on who you are. And you only like going live and you just hired a video editor. Probably the smartest thing if you're a streamer. Unless you're Dream, then it's a very stable career. Well, Dream make like, big brain moves to get where he is. Like, obviously, he could not predict the full amount of, uh, of success that he would reach. Because no one's gonna, like, just expect that they're gonna get 25 million subscribers. He's, like, at 27 now, ain't, ain't he? Um, no one just expects that. That's a weird thing to expect. Uh... But he actively made content that would drive up subscribers and viewership early on. And continued to make content that would actively drive up viewership. Like, popular content appealing to what is popular right then. Like, he made a video about, haha, this is so cursed. This is a cursed Minecraft video. And then he did everything wrong in the video. Um, and then he made a video about Mr. Beast. Not Mr. Beast. <laughs> he made a video about PewDiePie. Different guy with a beard. Because his Minecraft series was popping off. So he made a video about uh, his seed. Attracted attention. You can't just like... He, he was actually like actively thinking about growth methods. And that's why he's so successful. And even now, he uh, has found a formula that works, and he just sticks to that shit. Ugh. I have a, the belief that, provided that you're at least sort of entertaining and can write, you can probably be a middlingly successful YouTube creator. And if you can't write, then you can just, like, if you're a good talker... Your tangents make sense. You could also be a middlingly successful YouTuber. Like, there's- There are so many things you could just post on YouTube and then get subscribers for. But, uh, you have to know your niche and you have to know what viewership you're aiming for. Or else, uh, you're just kind of screaming out into a void full of millions of other- uh, YouTube videos and YouTubers who are trying to do exactly what you're doing and failing like you <sighs> Anyways, how's you guys day going? <laughs> Another day of a fisty cuffs tangent and that's the premise of Joker 2019 Boop! Boop! What's up? Oh, fuck. Okay. We are playing Minecraft Parkour, and I'm rambling about content creator analytics again. Like a fucking nerd. I honestly think I'm only doing content creation because I'm so interested in it. <laughs> That's such a stupid sentence. I'm only doing this hobby because I'm so interested in it. <laughs> makes no sense um i feel like i really enjoy the analytics and like the concept and learning more about it versus uh the actual doing part because i think most people don't like the actual doing part like when they actually try it because it's like you have to sit down and edit a video for hours and you have to like listen to yourself talk and you have to keep talking depending on what kind of content you're doing you have to have, like, a certain confidence in yourself and self-assurance, as well as a patience. A lot of people don't, uh, don't, don't do that. Um, they're not able to do that. Nothing much, just finished streaming. That's cool. Fuck! Oh, I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate it here. Okay. I hope your stream was good. I saw that you went live. Keeping talking is easy. Yeah, you just kind of like, um, 
Keep letting your mouth move. Editing not yet. Editing not that fun. I'll be honest. But that's just in my experience. I like the fun parts, which are like the fun little edits. Like playing with your subtitles and... Uh, cool zoom-ins and shakings and whatever. I don't, I don't like the cutting down part. The cutting down the footage part is just like so painful to me. I just hate it. I hate having to sit there and just like watch all of my footage and then cut it down into the parts that are like funny or interesting or can be made funny or interesting by editing. And ugh, ugh. It doesn't, it doesn't even take that long. I'll admit it, it does not take that long. If I just sat down and did it, it'd take like, what? Four hours, depending on the thing. I hate it. Not fun. This is probably because of my ADHD or it's like, cause I just, no, it's probably the ADHD. I was about to come from, come up with like a more neurotypical like example of why I hate it. Definitely the ADHD, I'll be honest. If I could just, like, hyperfixate on editing in the way that I hyperfixate on art and writing, I'd be set. I'd be set for life. Because I love talking. Streaming is easy. I mean, no, it's not. Because I don't know what kind of content I want to make. But just talking to myself and then looking at chat, not that hard. I'm literally doing parkour right now and looking at chat, and I'm alright. And talking. I'm multitasking. Isn't that fun? <sighs> it's hard for me to sit down uh, for it, too. And I was never diagnosed with ADHD or ADD. Yeah. It's just like a boring task. It's a boring, mindless task that you just kind of have to do. Similar to, like, just cleaning. Evidently, not very good at cleaning, either. If you saw what the floor of my room looks like, you would agree. I mean, you can just see my bed most of the time. And that's- that's a- oh, that's a whole other beast. <sighs> jump, jump. Uh... Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> How long have we been streaming? I'm so tired. Game uh, gaming on caffeine literally just as a let's play on a mod and then makes it very clear when he should start clips and where clips should end. It's kind of hard to transfer that over to other things, but you should try it and use it. I'll just be like, future me. This is important. I could have like a green sheet I pull up and put in front of my camera. <laughs> So that when I'm scrubbing through my video, my VOD, I could just be like, ah, yes, I need this. Or I could, like, manually click the Z go to bed. <laughs> no. I heard the secret is to clap or make a loud sound every time you should clip it. Yeah, but, like, can you scrub through and see that you're doing that? I still have a hard time? Mm. Zach, why do I have to go to bed? I thought you wanted content. Am I not but a cow to milk for content? What do you mean? You were just telling me earlier that you wished I went live every single night. And just rambled and did react content and watched the musical you performed in. You told me that. In our Discord server. It's crazy. What do you mean you want me to go to sleep? I still want what's best for you, Z. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Parasocial much? You want what's best for me? That's fucked up. You know, I don't think parasocial works as, as well for, like, a joke. Or maybe it works better when you're in a smaller community like this, where I literally, like... If you guys just talk to me in my Discord, I could probably be your friend. So parasocial just doesn't... It doesn't work as an insult. Because it's not really parasocial. You 
I'm just like a person that you know at this point. I'm not really a uh, your streamer, your meow meow, ooh woo. I'm just that guy. That guy who goes live and then you watch them. Uh, yeah, I am very tired. I suck at being friend. Um, simply get good, forehead. Honestly, this feels more like a hangout with you than anything else. It really does, though. This is not, this is not, like, refined content. There's no clickbaiting. I'm just talking to you guys. I won't lie. <laughs> this is super chill. I'm just doing Minecraft parkour and I'm talking. Uh, I think if this were, like, actual content, it would put you off bones. I think you wouldn't want to watch it if I was just, like, fully content-brained. Like, I'm pulling a Ludwig. Minecraft stream in this economy? Yeah, agreed, yeah. I think the appeal of this for you, Bones, is you're just hanging out with me, your friend, and you don't like actual content content that very much. Like, actual streamers. Except it's if it's, like, Jerma or people of a similar vein. And I think the second that I transitioned into more traditional, like, content creation, you would back out. You'd be like, I support you, but no. <laughs> it feels soulless. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, is you have to make it soulless at some point. Because otherwise, people are just gonna, like, parasocially like you a lot. And you're gonna have a lot of problems. Like, there's a level of genuine where you cannot reach. <laughs> I'm still... Oh. I prefer chatty streams than tra trad. Traditional. Yep. Yeah, I think I prefer this too. I think if I made YouTube content, I think I'm gonna just record it off stream. Streams should be treated as recordings. I know. In his name. Ludwig, Og Ludwig Ogren. Amen. But. Hmm. Uh, why am I a dumbass? Um, but I'm just kind of. Woo! Cuff stream! Thank you, Brixen Bull. Z, I like you a lot. Small creators over popular. Damn, Zach for the gay. My first boyfriend was a Zack. I probably shouldn't say that. I, let's delete that from our brains, shall we? I don't know if I should reveal his name. People are scary. They could come back to this VOD if I'm popular in like three years. And they could hear that and then they could figure out who it is. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything. We're just playing- we're doing some Minecraft parkour. Nothing crazy. I like think about- like, the fact that there's ads on this is weird to me, because I do consider it just hanging out with you. Uh, and suddenly someone shouts, Buy Burger King in your face! OMG, I was Zoe's boyfriend? No. Other- other Zack was cool. He was my friend, and I wanted to try out dating, because I didn't really understand that you were supposed to actually feel like those kinds of feelings for people. And so I, I knew that he had a crush on me, and then I dated him. And that wasn't right of me. We ended the relationship like two weeks later. Because um, it was, became very clear that like I just wasn't interested in doing like normal couple things with him. And it was better for our long-term friendship for us to not do that. And we're still amicable to this day. Why is someone confessing their love? No one's confessing their love. Was Zack as cool as me? I don't know. He's alright. You're alright. Different levels. Like, you're on different... ...sections of cool. I feel weird talking about, like, my personal life things on here. Sometimes. Like, my fanfiction and shit like that, because I'm like... If I get popular, then people will be able to find this VOD, and then they will just 
be able to look for these things and get involved in my personal stuff. Though I'm basically like... <laughs> I, I already realize the more that you try and hide stuff like that, the more people are going to look for it. Just think of Dream. That poor man's been doxxed like five times. People have found his mom's fucking Facebook account. It's really fucked. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want people to find my mom's Facebook account because I am vehement about not showing my face. Just don't upload the VOD. Yeah, I could probably just do that. I do have control over that, and it's not like anyone- No one's just saving the VODs for themselves at this point. Like, absolutely no one. When you're larger, every single thing you say, out on the internet forever. Like, forever, ever. Streams, at least, like, on Twitch, delete after 60 days, at least for me. So... By then, you know. Though clips, clips last for a very long time. Very, very long time. Besides me, I'm saving every VOD you've ever made. Stand behavior. What, are you gonna make a Fisticuff up <laughs> Fisticuffs updates account, huh? Is that where we're at in our lives? JK, JK. I'm not that much of a stalker fan. Yet. Slash J. Zack is literally, like, preparing himself for the day where he will finally get to be a senior member of a fandom. Zack, I think, in his free time, has a ring of small content creators he hangs out with. All banking on the fact that they will become popular so that he can have some modicum of power in the community, eventually. Zack is secretly a megalomaniac. This is horrible time for this map. This is, like, really bad. Ah... Yes, a ring. I totally have time to do that. Yeah. You've got tons of free time between the band and the band and the band and sleeping. Lots of time. I read that as I'm not that much of a killing stalker fan. <laughs> Why is that the first thing you thought of? Killing, stalking. Oh, that's such a... Oh, mm. I am not that much of a fan of that either. I'm gonna go. Best of luck to you. I'm about to go soon, too. I'm so tired. Bye-bye, Bones. I'll probably see you in the group chat. Doing fan fiction. I'm literally just gonna... I'm so tired right now. This is, like, one of the shortest streams I've ever done, but that's okay. I don't know, lots of people mention it this- these days. I'm gonna jump in the group chat VC any- actually, in case anyone wants to chat. Okay! Let me just... Good night! Oh my god, I'm developing eye bags. I gotta go to bed. I gotta- I gotta fix- I gotta fix my sleeping schedule. I- too many queer YouTube vids. I have been watching a lot of, like, queer theory YouTube videos. I'm gonna be honest, even as a member, a young member of the LGBTQ plus community, I am so confused by some terms, but that's okay. I'm not meant to understand everything. I'm just supposed to respect others. Alright. Anyways, that's all for the night. Next stream will be this week, somewhere. Anyways, good night. Good night. Hope you had a good time watching stream. If not, I am sad. I will cry live.
then it'll be good content. Oh boy. Join the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, Discord's cool and hip, and it was down today, and it pissed me off. I was so mad. I was just live-tweeting on Twitter. If you saw what I was doing on Twitter, that, that was what I was doing. I was just sad that Discord was down. Anyways. Oh, Em, I'm about to go offline. Yeah. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I couldn't last. I'm so tired. You just failed your test. Okay, I gotta go. Goodbye, everyone.